Hey, what's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, your host here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Welcome back. Well, the HD 6950 has been on the market for a little while, but Asus has taken this card and completely redesigned the card all the way from the PCB up. This is the new Direct CU2 version by Asus. This is a very nice card. It features two gigabytes of GDR5 memory, has an all new design, like I said before, superior cooling, and has lots of stuff from these guys that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. They feature their new super alloy power. These are three phases of things. It actually gives you better performance, better cooling, and a longer life of your card. But for now, let's go ahead and bop in here and see what's in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little tab right here. There's no stickers or anything on ASUS boxes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this tab. We're gonna pull that, pop the cap. The box easily pulls out. Get that out of the way. Take a look here. This is the external. I'm gonna go ahead and bop that up. Right off the top on the top, I'll just do everything in order here today. We have the Asus little book. This has the driver CD inside of it. The speed setup guide. I think we're gonna pop out. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the card now first, since that's what's in the box first. I actually thought that we had opened this before at some point, but I guess that we have it. And I apologize to my contact today, Zeus. This card actually just kind of got overlooked, and I apologize for that. One thing to take note about this card, though, this card is a freaking beast! Look how big this card is. Now... One thing to take note of though, ASUS has made a lot of their motherboards, especially the Republic of Gaming motherboards, that has wider slots to allow for this giant size of a card. So look how big it is. I mean, it is huge. I'm trying to look and see right here, where I, what do I do with my little trusty tape measure? I'd measure it for you, but I cannot seem to see it now. Oh, wait, hold on a second, folks. All right, I did get it. Sorry for the little bit of a nana thing. I'm gonna go just move this off the side. Cameraman, would you mind just refocusing down here? I know it's a pain in the butt, but check out how long this card is. This card is 12 inches long. I'll have the cameraman guy who does the editing put the centimeters in there because I don't know what exactly what it is, but we can translate it for you in the video. But look how long this card is. 12 inches long by four and a half inches high. Now, the real trick about this sucker, though, is, is how thick this card is. Now, you see this right here? This card actually is two inches wide. That's one of the widest cards I've actually seen on the market today. Card has a really interesting rear I.O. I'm just going to flip it around real quick and show it to you guys. You have four of your display ports. These are standard display ports as well. They're not many. They're your standard display ports. And then you have two DVI ports. So this has six monitor iFinity support right out of one card. Pretty cool stuff. As far as the crossfire goes, we're going to go ahead and pop the little cap off here. You can see there are two fingers right here. This means this card would work in a quad crossfire configuration. I'll go ahead and pop that back on there. It just keeps the card from getting shorted out. Then we're going to come and take a look right here. We have two power connectors here. We have the 150 watt eight pin and we have a 75 watt six pin. These will come from Molex right into the various cords that go into these things. Then we're going to flip around right here. We have the PCI. This is where the card inserts into your system. You just stick the card on inside of there and you're good to go. So you can also see that this actually features extreme cooling. I'm gonna try to get this up as close as I can. I'm gonna flip the card around a couple different angles. Underneath this is a giant, giant size heat sink. You can see this. These heat sinks are really giant. They have lots of fins and there's also a copper tube running through it to help dissipate the heat away from the card anymore. Hence the direct CU direct copper design by Asus. So that's the card. I'm gonna go ahead and just move that out of the way now. I'll continue on with what's in the rest of the box. There are a few more things, not a lot, but I'll go ahead and pull those out of the box and bring them out to you guys and let you see them. These are the additional stuff that comes in the box. You do get a Molex to six pin. There is a Molex to six pin. I do not see a Molex to eight pin in the box at all. So I'm assuming that, that, that you got that. You also have your single crossfire connector right here. And then you have an HDMI to DVR, oh, wait a second, I'm, excuse me here. This is a, yeah, this is an HDMI to DVI converter. So basically for the accessories, you get the little ASUS book, the speed setup guide, flip that around, the driver CD, and then finally, last but not least, you get the card. So this is everything that comes in the box of the new Asus HD 6950 
two gigabyte direct CU2 card. Thanks for watching. Look for the fuel, the, excuse me, the full review in just a couple of days.